Welcome back to Apple Addiction. Apple started making the move away from Intel CPUs and toward its own chip design in 2020 with the introduction of the M1 SoC, System on a Chip. Apple is rumored to be working on an upgraded Mac Mini, which might be powered by a faster M1X chip and offers several more expansion ports. However, one of the expected ports is missing from the latest leaked information. Since the current M1 Mac Mini is a bit light on ports, many would benefit from an option that doesn't require an expansion hub. So in this video, we are going to tell you about Mac Mini M1X, what to expect. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. If we are talking about the chip that's going to be into the new Mac Mini, it will be coming with the M1X chip as the sole option with 10 high performance cores, either 16 or 32 cores for the GPU, and potentially up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, based on leaks from Mark Gurman, who says that's exactly what's going to be going into the Mac Mini. Now, on top of all that, the reliable analyst Dylan DKT on Twitter also believe that it's getting the same exact M1X chip that's going into the MacBook Pros, and just going off of the fact that the lower end Mac Mini got the same exact M1 chip as the lower end MacBook Pro. It makes perfect sense for the same thing to happen with the higher end Mac Mini, getting the same M1X chip that the MacBook Pros are going to be getting. And this basically has to happen, based on Apple's two-year Apple Silicon transition, since the current Mac Mini still has a higher end Intel-based model. Just like the high-end 13 and 16 inches MacBook Pros still have an Intel model that Apple is selling. Specifically, the new chip may feature eight high-performance cores and two energy-efficient cores for a total of 10. The current M1 chip in the Mac Mini features four high-performance cores and four energy-efficient cores. With such power, this new machine will likely replace the 3.0 GHz 6-core 8th generation Intel Core i5 model. If we go back to 2005 and look at the original Mac Mini, it actually featured a flat plastic top with an Apple logo, which many people have forgotten about. So Apple could truly be going back to their roots with the M1X Mac Mini, as they did with the iMac redesign, as well as the rumored MacBook Air with white bezels and color options, and of course, the M1X MacBook Pro with the return of a bunch of ports and the removal of the touch bar. So in reality, the new plexiglass top on the M1X Mac Mini truly makes sense based on what they did in the past. The best way to expect the pricing of Mac Mini M1X is to look at the high-end Intel Mac Mini that you can still buy right now on Apple's website, which starts at $1,099 and comes with 512 gigabytes of storage, which is what we're expecting for the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. So that's exactly what we're expecting to come on the M1X Mac Mini as well. Mark Gurman also expects 16 gigs of RAM to be the minimum amount of RAM for the M1X chip in general which makes sense since that's the current minimum on the higher end MacBook Pro. So the M1X Mac Mini should come with 16 gigs at the base price. So if you take the current Intel Mac and configure it with those specs, you're sitting at $1,299 for the starting price, which is the exact price that everyone is expecting for the M1X Mac Mini to start with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of SSD. Now there is a chance that Apple will give it a $100 discount as they did with the M1 Mac Mini compared to the old base lower-end Intel model. But we believe that that was a small incentive Apple added, because the M1 model lost two Thunderbolt ports, and it didn't support as many displays, compared to the old Intel-based Mac Mini. The Mac Mini's GPU is almost certain to be integrated into the system on a chip, but it will reportedly be much more powerful than the current Mac Mini's 8-core GPU. German reports that the new chip will come in either 16 or 32 graphics core variations. Mark Gurman recently said that he expects the redesigned Mac Mini to launch shortly after the M1X MacBook Pros. But the thing is that the word launch does not mean reveal, and the important thing to realize is that the Mac Mini hasn't truly been redesigned since 2010. So the new Mac Mini obviously deserves to be revealed at an Apple event. On top of that, Dylan DKT also agrees that the Mac Mini will be revealed alongside the new MacBook Pros, and so does Leak's Apple Pro who recently mentioned that they'll be coming at the same time. So if you combine all of those pieces of info, I believe there's a good chance that both the Mac Mini and the new MacBook Pros will be revealed at the same October events, but they'll end up shipping at different times. So maybe the Mac Mini will truly launch a month after the event or something like that. Now going even deeper, if you really think about it, last year's November event was focused on Apple Silicon and the new M1 chip. First and foremost, before Apple showed off which products would be getting that share. 
So I expect the October event to do basically the same thing with Apple showing off the M1X chip and making a huge deal about how powerful it is before showing off the very first redesigned products that will be getting that chip. There are many rumors about the event will happen in October instead of November. First off, the reason we had the M1 Mac event in November last year was that the iPhone 12 ended up getting delayed by one month. So Apple had to make the October event that was usually always focused on Macs and iPads instead of iPhone. So because of that, the actual Mac event was delayed to November. But this year, based on all the leaks and rumors that we're not expecting any delays at all for the iPhone, so the event is likely going to happen on September 14th. And that means that the October event should be going back to being focused on the Mac this year. And on top of that, some old leaks from Leaks Apple Pro way back in January when we leaked the timeline for the future Mac lineup. First of all, he was right about the iMac being the first redesigned Apple Silicon Mac with different ship options, which ended up being the base model along with a thinner bezel and the thinner body. He just got the March date wrong because Apple delayed the event into April. Second of all, he claimed that the MacBook Air would make its way to a 12-inch flat design, which has actually been rumored very recently. And the flat design aspect matches up to John Pross's renders of the MacBook Air. Third, he was actually the first one that claimed that the larger iMac would release in early 2022 with a form factor that matches the 24-inch iMac but being a bit thicker and with more performance. And right now, it's been confirmed by Dylan DKT that the iMac won't be released until 2022, matching up to leaks, Apple Pro's leak. And on top of that, he also claimed that the Apple Silicon Mac Pro will be smaller and release in late 2022, which we also agree with, as well as Mark Gurman, who recently reported the same thing. And way back in January, he also mentioned that the Mac Mini at some point will be getting an update to allow 10 gigabyte ethernet, which Apple eventually did on April 20th. So he was correct with that leak as well, leading us to believe that his source was fully legitimate. The M1 in the Mac Mini has just two RAM configurations, eight gigabytes and 16 gigabytes, while the Intel version maxes out at 64 gigabytes. German says the new chips will also include up to 64 gigabytes of memory. Storage is likely to be the same, starting at 256 gigabytes and topping out at two terabytes. As far as ports, the new Mac Mini could get two additional Thunderbolt slash USB 4 ports for a total of four, along with the other ports on the current model, two USB-A ports, Ethernet, and HDMI. However, Prosser says the new Mini won't bring back the SDXC card slot that is rumored for the MacBook Pro. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.